What is up boys and girls? It's a little Bronco action today. Bronco's first wash. Uh, what do we got? 2,300 miles on it. And uh, this will be the first wash. So I'll just show you what I do to wash my vehicles. And you can do the same or tell me I'm wrong. So let's get into it. All right, so. <clears throat> All right, so when I start digging into a vehicle, I like to spray it down first, get all the heavy dirt off. And you can see, you know, bird poop, everything, so you're not rubbing it into the paint. So what I'm gonna be using today is mother soap. Got the bead booster. I don't know, it was just there. It's expensive, it was new, so I wanted to try it. Um, just the uh, chemical guys, little bucket, it's got the dirt catcher in there. I have a um, foam cannon, just a cheap one, called of Amazon. So, we're going to get to spraying on uh, my pressure washer. This was on sale last winter, a Ryobi, 1600 PSI, it's good enough, it does a job. It's like... 40 bucks so go check it out home depot and um yeah I'll, I'll spray it off i'll let you guys watch i mostly want to start from top to bottom so start up on the roof work your way down All right, so once you spray it all off, make sure you get all the big stuff off. Uh, I spray with the foam cannon, so we'll do that. And I forgot to mention this uh, nozzle here, that's off uh, the Chemical Guys website. Uh, it just helps, helps to get close, get a little more precise spray, and it's easy to get in the wheel wells. So, I give this a thumbs up. Definitely worth the money. Um, with this stuff, I'm not, I'm not saying any of it's the best, but it, it's just what I use. So, keep that in mind.
make sure your wash mitt's clean. Got this extension pole, this uh, thing here at the local Walmarts. So, you got a tall vehicle, comes in handy. Beautiful thing. So I'm gonna scrub the roof. Keep the old soft top clean. I'm scrubbing the top of the vehicle I uh, can't really see so I do half the pad I go down and then I come back half the pad go down half the pad come back uh, back half the pad so you don't miss any spots and go more than half the vehicle so when you go on this side pick up and overlap and you don't miss any spots get the rest by hand and it's really cold out here it's like 37 degrees you don't want to wash your vehicle with hot water but I put a little bit in the bucket just so my hands aren't ice cold so again start up high and work your way down If you have the dirt screen on the bottom, which I uh, recommend, put the mitt in the bucket, kind of scrape it along there, squeeze it out so you get all the dirt out. I usually go side to side, like a grid pattern. I, I really do the car like twice because I go over what I already did so I know I don't miss any spots and just pretty much rest the mitt on. Don't really push because then you get a lot of scratches and uh, swirls. Do the dirtiest parts last. And I try to every every panel rinse the mitt out so you're not transferring dirt to every panel bucket And I flipped the mitt over. I do it again the other side.
All right, and it said that side to side is better to wash. So if you do get any kind of scratches or swirls, so it wouldn't be swirls, but it's easier to buff out um, scra horizontal scratches rather than vertical. So that's the reasoning behind that. Uh, we're just gonna work our way around the vehicle. Uh, yeah, so it's cold, so this stuff's not drying. But normally, when it's warmer out, you'd want to, I'd say, spray off after every side. This way it doesn't dry, and then you get uh, soap spots and everything, and it's hard to get off. So keep that in mind when it's warmer, or if you live in a warmer climate. But New York, it's cold. Now I'll get you in on the wheels. I usually finish up with these. Uh, normally I like using just simple green in my spray bottle, but I got Chemical Guys Diablo wheel cleaner. So okay, I guess it's I guess it's perfect. So we'll spray this up. Got 
my old scrub brush here. Dip it in the water. Nice uh, aggressive sidewall here. <sighs> Sucks to clean, but looks nice. Good off road. Uh, and I'm done scrubbing the car, so I'm just gonna use this to scrub the wheels. They're not too bad. Alright, and we rinse. Wow, that's anticlimactic. And just gotta go around, do all four. Alright, so once you're done scrubbing, get all the wheels, all five of them. I almost forgot the spare tire. But uh, I dried it off with this Meguiar's, it's like a waffle style towel. Pretty much a dish towel that you overpay for. But it did the whole car, I didn't, or truck, I didn't even have to wring it out, so. Came out pretty good. Not bad. Get some shots for you. All right, so um, just got to get the wife out here to uh, make some Bronco content. And we got a couple coming, so stay tuned. More Bronco stuff on the way. And 
Can't wait for the snowstorm. It's supposed to be Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So we'll go out, drive it around, let you know how it does in the snow. So if you got any uh, useful information out of this video, let me know in the comments. And if you hate this video, let me know also. I love getting trashed. Um, yeah, so till next time. Uh, I don't know. I got nothing. So catch you next time.